Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Windows security. You get the error of kernel mode, hardware and force tag protection is off. Your device may be vulnerable. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. First of all, right in my Windows security, you can see here is the error. Kernel mode, security hardware and force tag protection is off. When I click on the option go to settings and when I try to turn it on, it just doesn't turn on. So let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. In the basic step, I suggest you if you have installed any third party antivirus such as Avast, AVG or Norton, make sure you disable it and then try to turn on this particular kernel mode hardware and force tech protection. If this method failed to work out, in next method, Head over to settings menu, click on the option apps. Here click on optional features, scroll down and click on more windows features. In this pane, you need to turn on virtualization. So first of all, check mark the icon Hyper-V, then scroll down and check mark windows machine platform and windows hypervisor platform. Once it is done, hit the ok button. Once it is done, as it is saying, you must reboot your system. Go ahead and click on the option restart now. I will restart it later and I will proceed to the next step to fix out this particular issue. Now after restarting, make sure you again boot into your BIOS menu. Yes, boot into your BIOS menu and you need to turn on the virtualization in your BIOS menu also. It will be available either with the name of virtualization or in AMD processors, it will be available with the name of SVM under the advanced CPU settings. So you make sure to turn or enable virtualization in BIOS also and then restart your PC and turn on this particular feature to fix out the issue with device security. Now if both methods failed, you have enabled virtualization and still the problem is still there, let's proceed with the next step. Whenever you try to turn it on, it will show an option of review incompatible drivers. So go ahead and click on it. At my end, you can see here is the incompatible driver with the name bgk.sys. In order to fix out this issue, open up your browser and here paste this particular link and hit the enter key, which I will share you in the description of this video. Save the program into your system. Once it is saved, Right click on auto run and choose the option run as administrator. Now here click on this driver tab. And all the drivers that are installed in your system will be shown right in front of you. Now you can see the problem is with vgk.sys. So in this pane you need to find this particular driver. And there you go here it is vgk. You need to uncheck this option. Once it is done, click on the option save. Hit the save button to save the changes. Now close it. Close Windows Defender and again open Windows Security. Go to the settings and try to turn it on. If, if you are still unable to turn it on, again click on review incompatible drivers and note down the name. The name is vgk.sys which means that it's an Valorant anti-cheat program. The problem is generally occurred because of the anti-cheat programs of Valorant, eSports or any other game. So what you need to do is to reinstall that particular anti-cheat program. At my end it is of Valorant so I'll go ahead first of all I'll uninstall it and then reinstall it. To uninstall Simply head over to settings menu, choose apps, installed apps and here find Roet Vanguard. Click on three dot and choose the option uninstall. Once uninstalled, now launch Roet client, sign in. 
once you sign in it will automatically ask you to update the game so go ahead and click on it and choose the option update in the meantime open window security again go to the settings and turn it on you can see that the problem is fully fixed it asks you to restart your pc so go ahead restart your pc and this will completely fix out the issue of device security kernel mode hardware and for stack protection is off so this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching